Today is a big day for me. It's something I've been waiting for for almost a year now, since about April of 2017 is when I did the charity stream. Choosing Gamers Outreach definitely was influenced by parts of my childhood. Growing up, you know, I'd been in and out of hospitals myself, and not only me, but my mother had also been in and out of hospitals. She suffers from multiple sclerosis, which is like a disease that affects your nervous system. There was a lot of people that helped take care of my mom, from, you know, nurses to doctors to my family. And seeing the people that did that, it taught me a lot. It showed me something that I wanted to do in the future. You know, I wanted to be able to do what they did for my mom for other people. I wanted to be able to help. Did you know it's a... Uh, the patient were visiting her birthday last weekend. How exciting. Yeah. This is such a good birthday gift for her then. She just turned five. It's going to be the most epic unboxing ever. Right to YouTube. The unboxing video of our go-karts. I think it's really incredible that Pineapple's community came together and he held this big charity stream and they created these go-karts through their hard work. And each cart costs around 3500 to make, so he raised enough money to build two go-karts, which is incredible. The go-karts are portable gaming stations that are made out of a molded plastic that is very wonderful for being sanitized, which is really important for the hospital. They have either an Xbox or a PlayStation 4. It has all the games downloaded. The monitors are donated by BenQ, and they're all put together in one package, which makes it very light and portable and easy to move around the hospital. Right, let's get these inside, start building them. I can't wait to put them together. Something like these go-karts really just helps them feel at home, helps them feel comfortable, you know, kind of gets them through this thing way easier than it would if they didn't have it. For a lot of our patients, they're here for extended periods of time, and we want to do everything we can to make the environment as comfortable as possible for them. Things like the go-kart make a huge difference in the lives of these children. We hope to use these go-karts just to, to give any kid who wants a little bit of an escape to have some fun. These are mobile enough that we can bring them into the patient rooms. We can have kids come into the playroom here and have tournaments. There's a lot of opportunities for kids to have fun with these machines. When I was doing the charity stream, like a lot of people were like wondering why I was raising the money. And I mean, the answer was simple. It was just, I want to help. And I wanted to be able to take what I had, you know, like the success and platform I built. It was a big turning point in my stream from that point forward. It wasn't all just about me and what I could do. It was about us and what we could do. Gaming is so diverse. And I think sometimes we get put in a box. We get put in stereotypes. And when we're able to do charity events like this, it shows the world how diverse we can be and how far our social media and how much our outstretch can be. Proudly donated by pineapples. <laughs> It felt like Christmas, you know, like when you open presents and you get something awesome. It felt like that, but the present wasn't for me. It was for other people. It's like I found like the perfect gift. And, you know, I get to finally see Abby. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Abby. This is my friend Abby. We came to play. For Pineapples to spend his time and efforts to come here to do something that he didn't have to do means so much to not only the children, but the staff. That's why we go to work every day. We love seeing our patients happy. And it's part of our philosophy and our, our mission at UMC to do everything we can for our patients. Hi. Excuse me. How are you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and your animals. Oh, look at the animals. I think Pineapple's raising this money through his stream really shows the power of esports and the impact it can have in our community. My name is Pineapple. Why Apple? It's my nickname. My name is Miguel, but people call me Pineapple. I think that was one of like the, the lasting feelings for me. Like I'm not going to forget that feeling of happiness or, or joy. Bye. 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 Um, <laughs> thank you, Abby. Thanks for playing with us. <laughs> this is something that's unique and special to me.